We're all working to collectively flatten the curve by keeping our distance and avoiding leaving the house, but the time has come. You're out of milk and eggs and wondering how you're going to safely go to the grocery store. I talked to a couple of experts to find out when you should go and how you can safeguard yourself. Wiping down your cart or wearing a mask. If you have to go to the store, many are trying to do it safely. Typically keep wipes on me in my bag. I wipe my son's hands off. I keep stuff in the car. Anne Marie Gloucester, an epidemiology lecturer at the University of Washington, says if you don't have gloves, try this trick instead. I put one of the produce bags over my hand. So while I was selecting produce, I used that. If you have to bring your children, if your child's small enough to put them in the grocery cart, See, please do that so that they're because they just really love to touch everything. And that includes leaving your phone in the car. Our phones are a spit vector. We talk into them, we spit on them, we lay them down on some multiple surfaces. But in the store, go back to the paper list. These barriers offer safer checkout experiences. And once you're at home, Gloucester says only wipe down items you know have been touched a lot. If you picked up a prescription, your prescription bottle's been touched by two or three people, wipe those sort of things down. This is a sentiment that the Food and Drug Administration is echoing, too. The Deputy Commissioner of Food Policy and Response says there is no evidence of food packaging being associated with the transmission of COVID-19. So while you don't have to sanitize your groceries when you get home from the store, I am going to wash my hands for at least 20 seconds. Reporting in Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News.